Hi, I'm Ben. This is part two of the restoration of a small uh, guillotine. Now, at the start I said it looked like it had been green originally and someone painted it grey. So I went back to the green and as on part one I had it all stripped down ready. This is part two putting it back together. Now this is it painted. It had been grey green originally but Someone had painted it grey and as in part one it was in a terrible state. Now this is the parts ready to put back. This is it, ready for reassemble. This is the arm for This yeah, that's it. This is the indentation for the uh, too big. That makes it a nice fit. Yes. And now the carrier plate, these three and set in place. Now that is M3, their heads is a wee bit on the dull side. Now this is the rule. Look at the way that cleaned up. That's brass, nice. Now, 
this goes here. There's a very short screw at the end here. These are short screws just to hold the rule in place. That's it. Yes, now for the large nut bolt. Now for the large bolt. Look how nicely this cleaned up. This is a brass washer on it, but it cleaned up very nice. That's a bit on the tight side for the hand and needs the ratchet. That would probably be it. The nut cleaned up rather nice too. Now there is a an Allen screw in the nut. Must be for extra locking purposes. Now this is for this stabilizer. That's it. I'm going to have to take the bolt out again for to put the blades on. I forgot the blades. Now that is one blade and Now that is that blade in place. Now this blade has two brass shims. My brass hammer for two. Now these are two Allen keys in this one. Now 
Now these ones have to be very tight. Now I have to put the lock nut back in, silly me. It's screwing in a bit easier this time. Oops. This has to go on. Here. Now, there was a washer on this one. Must have been for some sort of a spacer. But I mislaid that washer so I had to. Ray, you that washer. Now to give it a try. This is hard steel and it's reasonably thick. It's uh, for to cut it. I, I had to adjust the blade. I had to adjust the blades. Oh yeah, look at that. Look at that. Nice one. Now for Ten pound. Rather than scrap it. That is the name. I don't know what these V's are for. But everything else works well. Hey, that is my little gel thing. It may not be used very often, but it's there when needed. And for £10 at a flea market, rather than scrap it, it's handy little tool. Anyone who, if you like this, press the like button. Ben's Machine Shop. Go to my website. Thank you for watching.